I was throwing a brunch for my stepdaughter and her fiance. Most of the guests were out of towners, so it was gonna be big. And I wanted something special because basically I hate theme parties. I think they're always forced. But in this case, I knew I needed to make it about this great couple, about the fact that Juan is South American. London was raised in France and New York and Toronto. And so we needed the French thing happening. And I wanted it to have a different flavor from just a Canadian brunch. 100 people on my terrace and in my garden was gonna be a real challenge. And if it wasn't enough to throw the party, we also had the magazine photographers there taking pictures for our story. It was a bit of a zoo. So Michelle, my partner, suggested we do a churrascaria. They're Brazilian, and they're famous for great barbecue. The great thing is that you make all the side dishes ahead, put them on your buffet, you've got one person manning the barbecue, and you're free to be with your guests. Of course, we were worried about weather. So we put up a tent over the backyard, and then we needed a scheme to make things visually exciting. So I worked with our talented team at House and & Home, and Stacy Smithers was my chief stylist, and we had talked about that we wanted strong colors, something like Carnival, but not too tropical, and that green would be a background color because of the color of the greenery in my backyard. We were using black chairs, so we wanted black to be the accent. So she went to Designer Fabric Outlet. I went separately, and we both came back with the same piece of fabric, so that was kind of cool. And they really set the scheme. We used long, skinny tables, that was the secret. Laid them end to end and covered them with these green tablecloths. And we used black ballroom chairs, and we staggered the plates so that no two people were sitting across from each other. And then there were some round tables on the grass, so all in all, all 100 people could sit down. Rent. Renting is so important. You may have enough dishes, you may have enough glasses, but who needs to wash them? I'll tell you a trick. If you're throwing a party after a wedding, wait till the wedding's over. So we did. We took all the flowers from the night before, put them in the flower fridge overnight, and the next day the stylist for the magazine did beautiful arrangements in these little pots. We got big steak knives. That was very Brazilian barbecue. Simple plates and did fabric sewn up into squares. So much nicer than boring rental white napkins. It all on these fresh green tablecloths. It just looked fantastic. The other thing we did was hire a band. It's great to have live music. And people told me the next day that this was not like any old wedding brunch. This felt like its own party and that's what I really wanted. And I know that people had a good time because they stayed all day. Hopefully your party will just reach a crescendo and kind of explode right in the middle. And that's the best time of the party. And that's the time that you want to pay attention, look around. This is it. This is what it's all about. And our party did. It exploded.